is Prom Jet Glam 2019. We're here at Butterfly Decor on Main Avenue in Gastonia. It is a gorgeous space. Lots of people have already come in. We're here until four. Plenty of sizes, colors. And people are like, how much does it cost again? Nothing. Nothing. It's absolutely free to anyone who wants a prom dress this season. We have absolutely seen our loyal listeners come out of the woodwork to Gastonia. We had a line all the way down Main Avenue this morning starting at 8 o'clock. We opened at 10. There are literally over 5,000 dresses here. So from size 0 to 32, we won't let any girl leave the facility until they find a dress. And this year, thanks to Lily Rose Bridal, not only did they donate dresses, but they donated an amazing array of shoes. So we have beautiful shoes for the girls to take along with their dress. And, you know, we keep saying every year, this is the last year we're gonna do it, but we keep doing it because the need in our community is so great. Money, financial times are tough for so many people. And we don't want any local girl to be upset and feel like she can't go to prom and she can't afford a dress for prom. We have a dress for everybody. Strawberry cheesecake, yes. and have cookie dough, and that has a cookie baked on the inside. Oh, wow. And then these are just cute for the kids, just unicorn. Yes. These are adults, you know. Oh, thank, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Amazing. Wow. Mm. That was good. <laughs> Glam for me it goes back to when I was a high school girl wanting to go to prom. I grew up with a single mom, uh, couldn't afford to do Christmas presents, birthday presents, but my mother always made sure I had a prom dress. And I remember there was one time I was in a store and there was a girl with her mother looking for a dress. She found a dress, but her mother said, I'm sorry, we can't afford it, you can't have that dress. The girl was crying, the mother was crying, and I started crying. Didn't want them to know that I was crying. So because of that situation and my own personal situation growing up, I wanted to be able to share with everyone the power of our radio station of what we can do to help in the community. And this event truly is about giving back. No one you know, makes any money or generates anything from it other than being a good human being and taking care of others in our community. But I can bag that. I love you that. ready? Okay, I love it. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, sorry. See if I can, if I can get that into a bag and not make it, not make a mess out of it. Oh Lord, you got a man trying to bag this thing. It's not going to be good. See, watch, watch how long it's going to take me. There you go. You got this. You. See, oh, you're videotaping us. Yes, We're working yeah. together. What's your yes. name? Oh, Sarah. Sarah. Sarah and Tanner are working together to bag the dress. Sarah's really doing the bagging. I'm just standing around like an idiot. This is amusing me right now. I know, right? This it's is great. really funny. It's great. <laughs> oh, there's the, there it is. Look at that, Sarah. Look how great we did. Yes. There's some lipstick for Sarah, too. It's called teamwork right there. Teamwork. We did it. Did I not do it right? I didn't, oh, I didn't tie you did it up. Great. You did a great job. <laughs> You did a great job, Dan. I'm just, just going to take some lipstick and go then. You did amazing. I'm going to put a finishing touch on. Thank you.